Welcome back everybody. What we're going to be getting into today is this chest rig that you see me wearing. We're going to uh, just do a bunch of shooting with it, uh, let you know what I think of it, then get into it in detail. Um, price, fabrics, all that jazz, but so far so good. I like it. It's built specifically for AKs, both 74s and 47s, which is a feature you don't find a lot out there. Um, but we'll keep putting some rounds through it here with it on and uh, see what we think of it overall. set up the strike hard gear chest rig here with a few different options just to kind of show you the versatility of the system here. Uh, over here we have our Glock 23 set up in the Force City Tacticals uh, Delta holster with the uh, mouse clips here. We have a standard 30 round AKM magazine. Here we have a 5.45 45 round circle 10 mag and then an AR-15 mag to show you that that'll work. All you need to do is just kind of readjust the tension here and that will work just fine here for your P-Mag. Here we have our 40 round Circle 10 uh, 7.62 round mag. And uh, over here we have our a Glock pistol mag. So all different types of ways that you can set this system up. The beauty of the PALs or um, Malice systems there is that it's pretty much infinite there. In addition to the pouches that you see up front here, there are also a couple big pockets or pouches here in the rear. What you see here is a smaller pouch here. You can see you can put a lot of things in there, maybe a radio, some frag grenades, anything like that. Smoke, smoke grenade as well for the civilian option out there. We have a large pouch here. You can put a whole bunch more mags if you'd like. I believe you can actually put eight mags in there, eight AK mags. Also, you can put map, anything else. And then over here, we have the identical uh, small pocket as you just saw on the other side. When I first got this rig in, I posted some pictures on Facebook. I got a few questions. One was about adjustability. So it adjusts from six different points. So two up front, two underneath, right where your lats are, and then a back strap. So different adjustment points to that way you can wear it low like you saw earlier in the video, but you can also wear it up high in conjunction with body armor as you would if you were going into a more serious situation like you see here. Um, it's made of 1000 uh, denier cordera, very durable, fray resistant fabric. It's got padded shoulder harnesses and on those shoulder harnesses there's also webbing. So that way if you want to put maybe the antenna of a radio or if you want to just run the hydration uh, loop, you can do that. Run it through there and it'll stay in place and not flap around as much. Um, it's available in several different colors. This here is the Coyote. I believe it's available in OD green, black, uh, multicam as well. Um, cost, always an important feature for you guys. This thing comes to market, the rig comes to market for $75. So in my opinion, compared to the other products that are out there on the market, this one's extremely versatile. You get a lot of chest rig for your money. You can use it with several different rifles, 74s, uh, VZ58s, AR15s, as we talked about earlier. Um, and it comes in two different configurations as well in terms of the, the harness that I was actually see. It, this one here is an H harness. And the reason I got the H harness is honestly I'd never used the H harness before. Um, all my other rigs, uh, chest rigs, are X harnesses. So I'm more familiar with the X harness, but I wanted to try out the H harness. Um, in all honesty, I probably would go with the X-Harness if I had to do it again. I'm not really too big a fan of the H-Harness, but it is what it is, so um, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's just, again, probably just a familiarity issue. I'm more familiar with the X-Harness, but all in all, really good product, especially considering what you get for the money. Very versatile system, and i um, very happy with it overall. But if you guys have any questions about this rig, anything else I talk about here on the channel, you can feel free to post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.